So welcome everybody, welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is August the 22nd, 2021. Welcome to the beginning of the end because as I mentioned to all of you before I started the recording is that this is the last channeling for Korea. So there may be other people that would start to channel Korea. However, this is my last time channeling Korea, the entity Korea, um, because I was checking in this morning, checking in with Korea, and I got the message that we're done. The contract is over. So this is the last one. And what's going to happen from now on? Who knows? <laughs> it's everything and anything can happen. And I'm absolutely thrilled to find out what's coming next. So with that said, let's all begin this channeling by going into a short meditation. So please take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take another deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in and let it all go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention to Breathe in deeply and also breathe out deeply as well. As you breathe in and out deeply, you are setting a signal to your body to your unconscious mind that you're ready to relax. You're ready to shift your state of consciousness. You're ready to look inward. You're ready to go for that connection with who you are within and start to disconnect from looking outside to let go of what you're hearing in your ears and close your eyes so that you are not receiving visual cues from the outside. And even though you're breathing you're only breathing in fresh air. All your five senses, you are tuning in to turn those senses within yourself so that you are picking up all the little cues, little clues that's only coming from within you. And when you tune inward, when you're only focusing within yourself, when you focus your mind on yourself as well, when you let go of thinking of things that is going to take you away from yourself and instead encouraging thoughts that leads you back to yourself. 
you start to drop in to you. Start to drop in to your body. Start to drop in to that very unique morphic field that is you. That is all of you. That is uniquely you. That consists of your physical body and all your non-physical bodies as well. It includes your entity, your earth soul, and your cosmic soul, all levels of your cosmic soul, all the way up to the highest vibration of you. That is the totality of your morphic field. And when you now drop into that, you are starting to come back, starting to come home to yourself. When you are in yourself, when all around you, all that you can feel with all your senses, and all that you can feel with all of your extra senses, with all the clairs, your clairvoyant abilities, clear audience abilities, clear sentient, all the clairs, all the extra senses. Tune in to yourself. You become an open book for yourself. Do you know that each and every one of you have the highest self, the energetic part of you that is so huge and big that they are like angels. They are non-local. And eternal. They are everywhere and nowhere at the same time. That is what your highest self is capable of. It is, in essence, simply source. It is simply the creator source. Deciding to experience reality in a very unique way. And whenever the creator source thought of a unique way that it can experience and create realities from, then a soul, a higher self is born. And this higher self will be able to create all of the experiences that it wish. to enjoy and it would create different fractals of itself 
that are from different levels of reality. As humans, maybe as Arcturians, maybe. as all different species of intelligence that explore this universe and other universes as well. That is the brilliance of your higher self. It does this very fluidly and you, your consciousness, the consciousness that you are aware of on this playground called Earth, it's only playing out one of the scenario that your highest self has laid out. Your high self simply focus on this one playground, this one reality, maybe just for a split nanosecond. And that's all it takes. And then it will shift to another reality that is playing a very different role in a different playground, all different. And every time your high self is simply switching from fractal to fractal, to different versions of itself that share a similar soul signature. But it's playing at very different levels. And each of those fraction of a nanosecond that your higher self is concentrating on. From our perspective, it may be years, it could be lifetimes. This is how each fractals of our highest self plays. And each fractal of the highest self is linked, linked together. We may not consciously know what the other fractals of our higher self are experiencing, but we do have access to all those experiences unconsciously. And we actually have access to them We are, we have so much access. We may not be consciously aware of them, but all of those experiences from other fractals of our higher self are constantly exchanging information from all over.
And when we are back, when we are plucked back into our higher self, we'll be able to have access to draw from all the other experiences of all the other fractal self from different dimensions, different universes, all playing together as one seamless higher self. That is why this reality is so precious. It is precious. Enjoy each and every moment that you are here. Enjoy all your experiences. And really know that it's okay. You may not always enjoy your experiences from your point of view, from your conscious point of view. You may not exactly embrace the experience that you are having in this reality, in this moment. But do know that there is always a purpose. There is always something to learn. There is always something to enjoy. If you will simply let go of your expectations, Let go of expecting life to feel a certain way. Stop fighting life. Life is happening exactly the way it is supposed to. your higher self, created this life. Your soul created this life for a reason that you may not be briefed on. You may not have complete disclosure as to what it is that you are supposed to learn, what it is that you're supposed to step through. But you do know, we wish for you to know this one thing. And that is that it is never for nothing. There is always something for you to get, for you to learn. And it is not your soul's directive to make you suffer, that is never the directive. 
It is always for you to look at a certain experience. and then to let it go. And whether it is an experience that you prefer, or it is an experience that is not what you prefer. Simply know that this too shall pass. If you don't resist, if you don't try to circumvent an experience, if you simply allow yourself to go through the experience, then the experience will be done with, will be over and done with. And then the next experience will come up. Now more than ever, you have so much more power to create the experiences that you prefer. So reach within, go within and connect. Connect with what truly is important to you. Connect with what truly is important to your soul, to your higher self. Communicate with them. Tune inward. Tune inward before you start to create. Now more than ever, be true to yourself. Create from your authentic self, from what truly resonates with you and make, make those a distinction. Make the distinction of, are you creating this because this is natural to you? Or are you creating this because of fear? There is nothing wrong with creating from fear. It is just that the energy 
does not support fear. And if you try to create out of fear, then your recreation is not going to go very smoothly. Create from love. Create from love of the self. Love of yourself, not from your brain, not from your mind, but from yourself, from deep within yourself. Things that actually bring you joy. And that speak to your soul, create from those. Do not expect anything from your creation. Simply create out of joy out of the joy of creation. Create simply because it brings you joy. And if for now, what brings you joy does not put food on the table or does not pay for roof over your head, that is okay. You may still need to do some of the things that is just to put food on the table while we still use money as an exchange for now, that is okay. But also give yourself time to create something simply. Because of sheer joy of creation. Because when you create from sheer joy of creation, from that wellspring within yourself that is creative, that is always seeking an outlet, the more you allow that part of you to come out and play, the more energy you are going to have, the more energized you're going to feel. And this energy will sustain you. And will bring opportunities to you to meet people that you may not otherwise meet. to make connections that you would not otherwise make. And gradually, without any expectation, gradually,
in that outflowing of your creator source is going to take over and bring you opportunities until one day you will find that you can spend as much time as you want to in this creation and that all of your other needs will be taken care of as a result. Nobody knows when that is going to happen or how that is going to happen. But when you keep that flame going, when you keep that joy of creation going, it will start to move you in the direction that your soul and your higher self is guiding you to move to. And one step at a time, everything else will fall into place. One step at a time, the reality around you will start to reshape, to support you, to do what brings you joy. What allows you to be the most creative. So for now, all your higher self and your soul is asking for is for you to start, to start to connect with your creator's joy. What is it that you truly love to create? that brings you the most joy to create from. Start. Start to fulfill who you are meant to be. You are meant to be a creator, to create something new that has never been done before. That is uniquely you, that the creator source has put in to your heart that only you can start to unleash it to come out. No one can do what you are here to do. Only you. Unique and special you. Each and every one of you has that unique and special talent that only you can bring through. And that is what all of us need from you. We need for each and every one of you
to start to reach in. And open that fountain of joy that is within you. It is not an indulgence. It is a necessity. Just as necessary as drinking water or eating food. It is to create something that is uniquely you. That is what creators are for. We have forgotten that part of ourselves. And now it's time to switch that back on. No one knows what it is that you can create. Simply allow yourself to go and experiment and find what brings you joy. What experiences that you can create for yourself that brings you joy? Follow that. And know and give yourself full permission to simply play. Enjoy without any expectation. Your first time playing at creating. May seem trivial. And that's okay. Perhaps the first thing you try to bring through is not the one. And that's okay too. Because if you don't start, it will never happen. The first thing you create may not be the one. The second thing that you create may still not be the one. Maybe not even the third or the fourth. Maybe you need to try a hundred different things. As long as you are having fun and enjoying it, keep going. Because one step leads to the next and the next until one day you would be able to create something that is so unique that when you see it, when you feel it, when you touch it, when you share it, 
your heart will blossom and your heart will know that this is it. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm supposed to give birth to. This is my gift to the universe. May you all get to that day when your heart blossom and you can take whatever it is that you have created and be able to share it with the world to share it with all of eternity until the next creation that is trying to come through you may you all begin to get back to who you truly are, creators. Creating reality, creating joy, creating yourself, creating your reality. That is what you're here to do. And that is what will bring you real joy. And we wish that for all of you. We support you. We cheer on for all of you to start to do that. to start to claim that. And this is the beginning. The beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, because there is no beginning and there is no end. There is simply change. There is simply creation. And you are the creator. Walk that path. We send all our love. all our support and we will and is already with you now and forever to support you to cheer you on to fan that spark of creator within you. And this is our message 
this evening. It has been a wonderful journey. This is where we leave off. in this format. But know that we are always with you, no matter where you are, no matter what you do. We are here in your heart. We are creating you as you are creating us as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>